I just wanted some story to read to my kids at night. And I just could not find anything. I couldn't find anything that really, you know, suited them or helped them find comfort and peace. And so, you know, I was like, let's just write one. That is Corey Richens, the Utah mom of three, accused of fatally poisoning her husband with a fentanyl lace Moscow mule, then writing a children's book about grief, and then promoting it on TV. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse for her case, or maybe even more shocking, well, this might not have been the first time she allegedly drugged her husband, Eric. No. Richens is now facing 10 new charges, including attempted murder. You see, two years ago, on Valentine's Day, no less, Eric told a close friend that he nearly died after his wife bought him a sandwich from a diner for lunch. This is according to new charging documents. And he said he had to use his son's EpiPen and drink a bottle of Benadryl after breaking out in hives from just one bite. Telling one witness, you almost lost me, and another witness, I think my wife tried to poison me. Now, the new documents state that opioids, including fentanyl, can cause allergic and pseudo-allergic reactions to include hives. Prosecutors revealed that Richens allegedly bought illicit fentanyl days before Valentine's, the Valentine's Day, as well as days before Eric's death, which was less than a month later. And on the night of his death, Richards and her supposed lover, yes, prosecutors claimed she was having an affair, allegedly texted each other, love you. New charges also include insurance fraud, mortgage fraud, forgery, but still, Richens maintains their innocence. Back with me, criminal defense attorney Bernardo Villalona, trial attorney Misty Maris, and News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton. Misty, how do you defend this case at this point? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know she well, hasn't yeah. proven guilty, but my gosh, I mean, what, what's going on here? All right, well, so now we have all of these new charges, and I expect that one of the reasons prosecutors wanted to bring these charges in is because obviously it shows this pattern. And maybe they were concerned that they wouldn't be able to mm -hmm. get that in without actual charges because there's hearsay issues. This is coming from a friend. It's what someone who's now deceased had told them. So I think this was a legal strategy on the part of the prosecution to build this even further, even all the suspicious activity, especially with respect to the finances, that part, you're taking out life insurance policies, mm -hmm. the affair, all of that. But now this prior attempt that really helps help set the stage for them on the murder charges. I didn't mention in the intro, but I think I have to mention it now. The Lisa Darden aspect to this. Can we talk about that for a second? This is Corey Richen's mother, who we have learned new details about. So in a recently released uh, warrant, this is number four, if we could put this up. This is, again, Corey Richens' mom. It was discovered that in 2006, Richens' mother, Lisa Darden, was living with an adult female with whom she was having a romantic relationship. In April of that year, her romantic partner died unexpectedly. Ooh. Now let's go to number five, if we can. This is also part of the uh, search warrant. Based on Lisa Darden's proximity to her parents' suspicious overdose death, partner's suspicious overdose death, and a relationship with Corey, it is possible she was involved in planning and orchestrating Eric's death. Now, she hasn't been charged, Brian. What did you make of that development? I mean, oh my gosh. So it, there could be even more twists and turns to this and the family could be involved. It, it's crazy. The fact that it was Valentine's Day, first of all, that she had tried it before was shocking, that she asked the housekeeper for stronger fentanyl uh, when it didn't work well the first time. Um, and that, I, I just think about this poor husband that he used, I think it was the daughter's EpiPen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and after she had put, allegedly, the drugs in a sandwich. Yeah. Uh, and, she, and, he, and he thinks he's having some kind of allergic reaction. But, but now, with the mom, in, by the way, is that gonna come into this trial at all, unless she's Charge? Can that? Can the jury hear about Lisa Darden? No, they're not going to hear about her unless they can find a direct link between Corey Richards and what happened, having to deal with Lisa. It's not going to come in. It's just too prejudicial. And Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.